Hey, how's it going YouTube? So today we are unboxing a mobile phone wireless charging sterilizing box. Uh, I think I did a video previously on one. Um, I don't know if I uploaded it yet. Uh, let me see. So this is the other one I got here. So this one is from uh, 59 uh, S. It's a uh, it's a UVC uh, LED uh, san sanitizer sterilizer. Uh, this one's pretty cool because it actually uses a USB C port, which you know I think everything should be using that by now. Um, it's so far everything. I mean, as long as it works, uh, I don't have really have the device to test to see if it put puts out enough uh, UV C light to actually kill uh, devices. But I've been using it and I do love it. Um, so when this is plugged in, you just have to kind of push it to kind of wake it up. And then you, once you put the device in, you'll see all this will light up kind of like a bluish color from the UV lights, which uh, comes out. Uh, it comes with this little uh, kind of a weird triangle shape uh, device. Uh, you just kind of put it in there and, and you kind of put your phone at like a little angle so that lights light can reflect through a mirror and you know bounce around and hit as many spots as it can so usually i run this like twice you know just to kind of make sure you know run it one side flip the device and run it through the other side and other than that um it has a protection feature so when you open it it turns off the uvc light right um other than that that's it uh, I'm pretty sure I did unboxing, but if not, then hey, here's a quick overview of it. And I will have to find a video and upload it, I guess. Um, so the reason why I got this one is just because, you know, I find it useful. And of course, during this pandemic times, uh, it's nice to have this to, you know, hopefully kill bacteria, right? Uh, the cool thing about this one is it actually has a fast charger built into the top, the lid. So you could uh, disinfect it. And then throw your phone on top of it and let it charge. Uh, it uses Quick Charge 3.0, so that should be pretty, pretty good. Should be a pretty fast charger. Um, so this one, again, is from 59 South. Uh, it has a built-in 15-watt uh, wire fast wireless charger, which is pretty darn good. Other than that, um, so this does has a few feature of if you put one put a drop or two of aroma um, drops into the thing itself I guess there's a little part that will kind of I guess make your device smell better I, I I haven't tried it I haven't used it so I don't know and whatever this double san, san, sanitizer sanitization is I, I'm not too sure but here we go. Um, of course, this one's in, uh, white, but it comes in a black version. And this one on the box, it says UV uh, light output of two watts. Other than that, um, this brand here, it actually says Prime Shield, which I guess is this sticker here, but the company that I believe was uh, 59S. I want to say 59 South, you know, just because the logo reminds me of that. But they, again, this one's called Prime Shield is the branding. And here it is right there. All right, so let's unbox it. Yeah, the branding's on top of it right here. Let's take this out of the box. And it, I'm sure everything else is inside the device itself because there's nothing else here on the outside manuals or cables so I'll put that to the side over here and let's take it out of the wrapping so this one as you can see is a little bit smaller than the other one but it looks like it'll fit a plus iPhone easily okay so let's take this part off
Oh wow, not as uh, not as cool as you know taking a wrapper off the iPhone or something, right? <laughs> All right, so um, off the top of my head, here's the on button, fast charger for the pad. Put your phone there. All right, so this one here has what I think might be one, two, three, four, and two. LED strobes. Um, so this one doesn't seem to have the mirror at the bottom. So what I would recommend is run it once and then flip your phone and then run it again. Okay, so put that to the side. And this is just the quick operation manual. Standby mode. Red light goes on for 30 seconds and then it goes off to standby mode. So it's the red light stays on when you're wisely charging. Uh, 59 second sterilization, blue indicator stays on. Five minute uh, sanitizer is three. The green indicator light stays on. Wireless charging and Oh, so I guess this charges, why is charging? Unless you're charging a phone inside, I mean, unless you're sterilizing a phone inside and then charging for the top. I guess that's what they're trying to say. In the care light is red and blue. I guess for a second I thought maybe it'll charge a phone while it's sterilizing, which I think that would be pretty darn awesome, but I'm thinking it's just on top. So if you want to do two phones at once is basically what it's, it's trying to say, I assume. So this one now is a magnetic switch. The other one had kind of like a little plunger type switch. Disinfectant. So I'm sure this means you should do it twice. It doesn't really say it in the instruction. But UV can only kill what it touches, right? The light. So... If there's a shadow or just something, you know, underneath, then it's not going to capture that, right? So, okay, comes with the typical now USB-C cable. Okay, comes with these little uh, suction cup things to add the <laughs> the aromatherapy uh, juice into here, I, I guess. Here, let me just double check real quick before I say it again. I don't think I saw. There's the attention. Um, okay, so it doesn't really give you that. Okay, uh, a maximum of two to three drops of perfume can produce a full aromatherapy effect. Do not use excessive perfume. Okay, well, yeah. I'm pretty sure online I saw the diagram. You just drop it right here. All right. So let's go ahead and plug this in. And I'll just give you a quick demonstration. As I said, I love my last device. Um, I'm just going to have this at multiple locations so that I can, you know, clean and sterilize. You know, anything from your car keys, your AirPods. Just, you know, anything that you touch, you know, and especially if you're bringing it out to the out, outdoors, then you want to sterilize it when you come indoors, right? And I try to keep it as easy as, as I can, because the easier it is, the more you're willing to do it, right? So, let's go ahead and plug this in. Okay, there goes that red light. So, well, let's go ahead and sterilize my phone. Oh, okay, I don't think that's gonna close. Okay, so I'll have to take off my little gaming triggers. So you do have to be cautious because UVC does uh, hurt plastics and rubber. You know, it ages it, I guess, is what you would say. It's just basically like you're leaving it out in the sun, right, for like weeks. <laughs> All right, so I'm closing it. 
And what did I say the blue light was? Can anyone tell me? Leave a comment below. Blue light is the 59 second uh, charging, uh, sterilization. And what I can do is grab my AirPods. Let me take out the case here, just so y'all can see. Let's throw this on here. Like a little piece of something stuck in there. Okay, so let's see. Turn off. Do you have to push another button for it to? Okay, I'm not too sure about the charging pad yet. Um, because my uh, the phone that does have wireless charging, I'm using it to record this video, so I, obviously I can't uh, throw my <laughs> phone onto there. So I was hoping this one would give me some type of indication, which it has not. So let's see, let's try opening it. And did lightning come on? Oh, yeah, I think I saw it. Yeah, I think I did see that light was on. Because, <laughs> you know, it's kind of trying to protect you from getting exposed to the UV light. Okay, so let's, um, I don't know, let's just push it again. Let's throw this on top. Okay, no light. Okay, so it seems to toggle from blue to green, but so it should be blinking red and blue, I assume, if it's charging. Okay, so maybe it just it doesn't see my AirPods as a wirelessly charging device I know it won't charge my Apple iPhone I watch Apple watch okay well so I guess I'm just gonna do some testing off video and I'll let you know if the fast charging works because so far normally this would blink yellow or green whenever it starts charging um, but it's not doing that all right so let's take Let's see, so this should have magnetic magnets built in. I'm trying to see if I can trigger this UV light so I can see it. Because on my other box, you could open it and you actually see a little bit of light. But this one, I wish it had like a little window like the other one. So that you can see that it's working, right? I don't know. There's no way of me knowing if it's working, if this UV light is even on. Because what I would do is, I'll show you this one real quick. So let me just unplug this here. Take out my phone. Put this to the side. See, so this one is actually branded again, 59S, 59 South, what do you want to call it? Okay, see, so there goes the light. Okay, so you open it. Put the phone in. Oh, it's not gonna even fit this, huh? Fine, fine, fine. So let's go ahead, let's clean my mouse this time then, huh? How about that? Okay, close it. Where am I sitting on the cable? Okay, and then push the button. See, so what this one does is it blinks and beeps to let you know that it's working, right? And then, oh no, let's try again. So I have this plugged up to my laptop right now. I'm not sure, is it getting enough power? Because I don't really see the LED light. 
Ah, maybe, maybe that's the issue is that this is not giving it enough juice. So, sorry guys, this is not working as quick as I want it. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna get my iPad charger brick here. Unplug this. Let's see if I can plug close enough to plug this in. Yeah, I should have prepped a little better for this, huh? Okay, reaching under my desk to find a plug. Okay, so let's plug it in. Okay, so that should be plugged in. I still don't see the light. Or is it too bright in my room? See the light? Huh. Yeah, normally it turns on and you'll see the blue light easily. But for some reason, I'm not, just not seeing it today. Well, I guess this is not a very really great uh, demonstration video here. And normally you can see the light for just a second. But normally it's bright enough that you, you can see it for the sign. Well, I guess I want to do a little bit more testing. Uh, and I'll leave some comments or a little bit more information in the description of the video. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be uh, working as I thought it should. I would really like to see this um, this charge wireless fast charging work. Oh, there you go. See? So I guess you do need to plug it into a, a better power brick. Obviously, my laptop does not produce... Let's see, input. I guess it needs a five volt dedicated, oh, five volt, three amps input. Oh, wow. So this actually needs to ha be plugged into a pretty decent size uh, brick. So a lot of your older bricks will probably not work. You actually do need a, a at least a 3.0 um, quick charge type brick, power brick. So, hey, I learned something new. Right? Um, so let's see, let's go ahead. I'll put phone into here. Now let's see if we can see the light here. You ready? It should be on. Nope, <laughs> I still can't see the light. <laughs> but okay, so we know that the all right, let's see here. Come on. Okay, there you go. Oh, hey, see, there you go. Can you see it on camera? So now it actually has the blue and the red. Okay, so everything should be working as it should. Um, blinking red light. Red light goes on 30 seconds and then blinks. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be blinking or just stay on solid. But in any case, that is to tell you if it's charging this. Hmm. It's not solid red. Yeah, sorry guys, this is kind of a... Well, it was working, so I, I don't know. I, I'll just have to keep playing with this to kind of actually figure out what the instruction is saying versus what the light indicates. I assume it should stay solid blue, solid red to let you know that this wireless charging is charging, which at this moment doesn't seem to be. 
Oh, hey, despair. So maybe it does kind of see something, huh? Okay, looks like now it's totally off. And now maybe I broke it. Okay, so that's now it's back to blue, which is the 59 seconds. Um, so like I said, this one, at least it beeps to kind of give you some type of, you know, hey, I'm doing something. Uh, this one doesn't seem to beep. I, I assume the light just turns off when it's done. I don't know. But I don't think I saw anything in this, this about it would beep at the end or anything. That's thing built in. Buzzer will beep three times continuously. Okay, so when it does complete, this will beep three times. So yes, it does give you an indication, audio, audible uh, indication, which is a good thing. All right. So sorry, this video went really long. Um, me just rambling and, and troubleshooting uh, two devices. So as you can see, this one, there you go, it's done. Um, I will say the finish on this one is a lot nicer. It's more s like matted finish. And it feels like it'll be scratch resistant. This is kind of more of a little bit of a shiny pearl finish. Um, it might show scratches, I don't know. But overall, they both look nice. Obviously, this one would fit a little bit more room just because it's not cut off at the corners. Uh, I love them both. I would still have to play with this. Um, oh, there you go. It's working now. So the wire's charging works. So I guess everything's good to go. All right. So make sure to leave a comment below. Um, yeah, again, please don't comment that my video went too long. <laughs> but make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any issues or any questions, just yeah, leave it below and I'll try to answer as quick as I can. All right. I'll see you on the next one.